The travel industry hit hard by coronavirus. People weren't driving, people weren't flying. You couldn't sail if you wanted to, so folks had to cancel or roll things over to this year. But one local travel agent says so far, 2021, although it's still in a pandemic, more hope, more people now inquiring about booking travel trips. So let's check in with Khalil Maycock. You are at the airport this morning talking about business interest increasing. I mean, are you seeing more people at the airport this morning? Good morning. Good morning, Elias. Yeah, um, I mean, I've seen a couple of people, um, but the travel agent says just last week she had about 15 people calling to inquire about travel. And she says she's seen an increase of about 80% with her bookings from March through October. And she said a lot of those people who called about inquiring for travel will have to pass through those doors because they plan to head outside the country. So we spent a lot of time booking and rebooking and rebooking. That's what Michaela Moore did most of 2020 as a travel advisor. She had to help bring clients home when the world shut down because of COVID-19. She had to rebook destination weddings, honeymoons, and vacations for the summer, then rebook them again, which eventually took a toll on her pockets. I finished out last year with uh, sales less than a million dollars than I typically do in a year which was a huge difference over years past. But this year is starting different. She says at the end of 2020, calls picked up with people wanting to travel and eventually turning into bookings. And some destinations include places like South Dakota, while others... Lots of Mexico, uh, lots of Jamaica, the Dominican Republic are kind of the most popular from our area. And Moore says when speaking with her clients on their reasons to start booking travel during a pandemic, some say it's because they've been cooped up too long. They're excited about the vaccine, while others mention the recent election. Working on a global scale, when you're sending people outside of the U.S., they're always kind of mindful as to how they're going to be received when they get to the country that they're going. But we have had more clients that are kind of, they were waiting until the, after the election to see what happened. And, and Moore says even though some of her future international bookings are to places close by the U.S., some are to places like the Maldives, parts of the Europe and other locations along the Indian Ocean.